Hello everyone. This is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. As you all know, we have done many videos on various topics related to Service Cloud, right? But uh, I have got request from most of you asking me to do a specific video on how anyone can get started with Service Cloud. So here we are today. We are going to discuss why what is Service Cloud? Why do you need a Service Cloud? What are the various advantages of um, Service Cloud and the various capabilities that is available in the service cloud. So let's understand why do we need a service cloud with an example. Whenever any customer is trying to buy a product, whether the customer is trying to buy a water purifier or a phone, what are the things that comes to his mind? Customer looks out to buy the best product. The second is customer looks out to have the best customer service. Whatever we are talking here about the best customer service, Salesforce has came up with this specific product offering called as a service cloud. As the name says, it is mainly used to support any customer and provide the best customer service. So using this service cloud, it is mainly used to build a fast and reliable case resolution. So nowadays what is happening, every organization is investing so much of time and efforts to implement and provide a seamless and reliable customer service. So this service cloud feature plays a very significant role. Using the service cloud, it helps to resolve any issues across any channel, whether it could be a phone, it could be email, web or the live chat. That in turn increase the customer satisfaction. So those are the advantages of using the uh, service cloud. It increases your customer satisfaction. It offers support across anywhere on any device. It supports any channel, whether it could be email, phone, web, chat. It improves your agent's productivity, resolve issues on time, avoid any delays, and uh, provide fast and reliable resolutions to our customers. Service Cloud has been designed with may, many various capabilities like stated below. You have case management, you have activities, contract and entitlements, chat management, chat messaging or the live chat, uh, Einstein bot, omni-channel, knowledge management, email to case, so on and so forth. All these capabilities, what we are describing here, we have a separate session for each of these capabilities. So this session is only about how to get started. I will just give you about a brief about these capabilities. So let's talk about what is the case management. So whenever the customers uh, buys a product and he customer thinks that something is not working as, as expected, what does the customer do? Customer raises an issue, right? The issue could be in any form. It could be through phone, it could be through web, it could be through chat, or it could be through um, Einstein board or whatever it is. So what does that mean from the Salesforce perspective? From the Salesforce perspective, a case gets created into the Salesforce. Whenever a case gets created into the Salesforce, it is always important that that specific case assigned to the right agent on the right time, which means the cases has to be assigned automatically. So this is something which can be achieved using the case automation management. So what we do is we built a service console for our service agents or representative so that it provides a consolidated view to them at a one place. That is everything can be done from a single screen. So it is not needed for our agents to navigate between two different screen or three different screen. Using the same service console window, they will be able to get the cases, work on those cases, resolve the cases. If at all they wanted to respond to the emails, they can do it through the uh, same consolidated, same service console window. So that is something which is, um, we have a separate video related to the case management that you can go through that in detail. So now, once the cases are assigned to the agents, right, it is always important that you assign the cases to the agents automatically. That is rather than doing the cherry picking, it is important that the case gets assigned to them, assigned to the agents who are available and according to the skills. That is something which can be achieved using the another feature in Service Cloud called as an omni-channel. So omni-channel is mainly used to route any type of incoming work items to the most qualified and the available agents. This omni-channel works both in classic and the lightning uh, user experience. You can configure the omni-channel declaratively. There is no need to write any piece of code. 
and uh, what the omni channel does it routes all the work items automatically to your available agents so there are different types of omni channel as stated here we have queue based omni channel we have skill based omni channel and the external routing queue based and skill based skill based as the name says it is you assign the skills to the agents and according to that specific agent skills the cases gets assigned to the agents queue based whenever the agents are assigned to that specific queue according to whatever the configurations you do the agents um, uh, the cases gets assigned to them automatically based upon the queue based routing so we have covered a video related to the queue based routing and then we also have a video related to the skill based routing so advantages of using the omni channel as i was mentioning right agents it is not needed for them to wait and choose the work items based upon whatever the configuration settings you do it on the omni channel whenever any any agent is available according to the omni channel type whether it is queue based or skill based the cases gets assigned to the available agents it is not needed for the agents to do the cherry picking and you can also make use of this digital engagement this digital engagement is a kind of platform to connect with the customers on any digital channel they use every day through direct two way conver conversation it could be like live chat instant bot and messaging so this uh, live chat and the instant bot videos we have covered in detail messaging messaging is something which i was not able to cover because you need to have a license for that so let's talk about what is a live chat live chat it is preformally known as a live agent so this is a feature which is provided by the salesforce that helps in communicating with our customers directly so our agents can interact with the customers and customers can interact with the agents and that helps to resolve the cases very fastly the advantages it is huge customer satisfaction customer focused and resolve the issues faster and quicker agents can handle multiple chats at a single at once and because of which it improves the customer rating which is very important for any organization instant bot it is a powerful tool which is provided by the salesforce in order to support your agents and satisfy your customers using this instant bot you can um, configure the instant bot in such a way that if at all you have any kind of repetitive or common issues you can make use of this instant bot to resolve your um issues so that our agents can handle any complex issues we have a video related to that as well so you can go through the specific video related to the instant bot knowledge management with the help of knowledge management you can create knowledge articles that has information about the product services or frequently asked questions our agents can refer those knowledge articles and uh, resolve the cases very quickly you can what you can also do is you can make the knowledge articles available to our customers which leads to case deflection which means our customers can resolve the issues by themselves entitlement management it is mainly used to provide the correct support to your customers we have a, a detailed session related to this you can go through that specific video channel, video session email to case whenever any customers write down an email a case gets created into the salesforce right so you can use either of these two configurations whether you can use email to email agent or on demand email to case according to your business need you can make use of these uh, you can make use of any of these two type of email to case once everything is done uh, we have the service cloud consultant trial head you can go through this trial head and um, uh, get to know more about the service cloud and uh, then you can also appear for uh, the certifications so let's talk about uh, let's go through our sfdc one stop channel and i will navigate you to all the various capabilities or features that we have discussed in our service cloud service now service cloud so this is our channel sfdc one stop you can navigate to our uh, playlist getting started with the service cloud so we have around 20 videos in this service cloud you have entitlement management you have queue based routing skill based routing knowledge management you have case management that service console you have all of this digital engagement live chat instant bot salesforce macros bulk macros web to case case escalation rules 
how to set up email to case then you have the validations rules how can you enhance your lightning record page you have to create two uh, sessions one is on the creation and one is how you can enhance uh, our lightning page for the better user experience so these are a couple of videos that you can refer and um, get more understanding on what is a service uh, cloud so that's all we have for today's session until we come up uh, with our next video session please do take care of yourself um, and uh, also please do subscribe like and share our channel as a bc one stop uh, signing off yours namrata kadiyala bye bye